Yo, what's going on guys? It is Junimus here today, and as you can see from the title thumbnail, I've got another tutorial for you. Today I'll be showing you how to build this awesome looking Japanese slash oriental style crossover section for your pass. Before we get into the video, make sure you check the description down below for all the materials you're going to need for this. But anyway, let's go on to the tutorial. But before we actually get into building the crossover section for the pass, this is what all the items looks like inside of a chest format. So if you want to take a screenshot, now's your chance. Everything up top here is all spruce, then we've got the dark oak, then the andesite, the stone bricks, the brown carpet, all the never brick stuff. The redstone lamp, the lever, and the, net, the red banners, obviously, you can have whatever banner of your choice, it doesn't have to be red. And these blocks down here, this is basically for the path block again, so this can all vary, so you could have like, I don't know, 32 diorite, but maybe only like 10 polished diorite, maybe a stack of smooth stone slabs, but only like 20 white coffee powder, it could obviously, all this can vary, okay? But, anyway, let's go into building it. Before we start building it, ignore the, obviously the red sand here, obviously if you want to take a screenshot, that's what the actual outline of the build looks like, okay? But the way we're going to start off here is... I'm going to place one, two, three, four high there with just regular and the safe. I'm obviously going to do some all four sides. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Next thing we're going to do after we've done this is on the corner sections of these. So these corner sections, like right there, we're going to bring these up three high in total. So I'm just going to add two more to them. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Obviously, we're going to do this on all four sides. There we go. There we go, there we go, and there we go. And all, all we're doing here is basically just making like, the foundation layer for the entire crossover road. There we go. After we've now done this, in between all these, I'm going to add three high brown uh, brown carpet. There we go. There we go. Nice. Almost done. Just got just two more sides to do. For this one, and then there you go. I start this side done. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Now that we've done this on the outside, not on the insides here, just on the outskirts of the crossover section, what we're going to do is put stone brick stairs. There we go. There we go. So obviously, do this the entire way around. So I'm not going to lose that grass. There we go. Now that we've done this, what we're then going to do is basically create like a circle shape going right around this and this like block here with stairs. Again, whatever you do on one corner, you've got to do on all the other corners. Here we go. And one more side here. There we go. Now that we've done this, the last step for the foundation section here is we're going to connect these up so we've got the carpet on the inside here. We're going to place stone brick stairs going right across there. It should be five across, obviously a gap there between the pillars. There we go. And there we go. That is there, the foundation done and dusted. To do the second part of the framework, so this is like the upper section framework here. What we're going to start off by doing is getting some spruce logs. I'm going to go one, two, three, four high pillar there on top of the andesite. So one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. After we've done this, connect them all up together, just like so. There we go. Obviously, going right the way around. And one more side. There we go. Now that we've done that, below here, below the logs, we just put side grease. Underneath this, the block below it, we're going to put a lower half dark oak slab there. Another one next to it, then the plank. Then a slab, then a plank, then a slab, slab. So it should look something like that. So it's slab, slab, plank. Slab, plank, slab, slab. And we're going to do this again, going the entire way around. There we go, plank, plank, there we go. One, two, one, two, plank, plank, slab. Slab, slab, plank, slab, plank, slab, slab. Okay, now that we've done that, on the four corners here, where we put the pillars going upwards on top of the other side, we're just going to put one spruce plank there for now, okay? This is going to come in handy in just a second. Now that we've done this, what we're then going to do is we're just going to place that plank then we're going to put an outward facing spruce stair like so there we go and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you one side here because you can just rinse and repeat that around the other side and as well off camera what i'm going to do in a second is i'm going to fill all this and down here with obviously like the texture between like the diorite the polished diorite the white concrete part and the smooth stone slabs i'll do all that in a minute basically all you're doing is filling in this gap here where the stone brick stairs were before but Back to this up here, all we're then going to do from this section here is we're just place that stair facing outwards, stair facing inwards, underneath that, stair facing outwards, 
stair face, not even the stair facing inwards, we're gonna put a plank there like so. Okay? So stair facing outwards, regular stair, stair on the upside down, through stair, then a plank, then the stairs facing inwards, like upside down facing inwards. Stair facing inwards on top of them, like so. And then we're gonna go one, two, and just like so. On top of these corner ones, obviously that we put the planks there before. What we're gonna do is just put one extra stair facing outwards like that. And you're gonna rinse and repeat this going right round. So I'll catch it in just a second. Now that I've done that going right round the other side here, obviously I texture the floor there. All that's left to do in this little section here is we added the last bit of the spruce stairs here. On the lower half of it, we're just gonna put a spruce slab like so. This is obviously gonna come in a bit handy later on. Here we go, and there we go. And now what we're gonna do is build the roof. And the way we're gonna do the roof is in the corner sections here where we pla placed the planks earlier, we're gonna just put two there and then put three in front of them. So it kind of makes like this W shape. There we go. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Now that we've done this, what we're going to do is put one, two, three, four in just regular never brick blocks. There we go. In front of them. Two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. Now that we've done this, what we're going to do is put a slab there, then a temi block slab, temi block slab, temi block slab, and then slab there. I'm going to keep doing this pattern going right around the outside, okay? There we go. See that one there? There we go. Go one there, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is go back to the blocks again and go one, two, three, four. That's it, going right the way around the outside. There we go. Now that we've done this, what the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place a temi block there for now and then place one facing inwards because what we want to do is essentially where these four corners are right here have never brick blocks there. And then in these sections here, like these out sections, what we do is put a stair there. Okay, so we should obviously put a temp block there and then a stair next to it, okay? Here we go. So then what we should do is have like this little uh, this little plus sign here on the roof. Okay, now that we've done this, the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a temp block in the middle for now. You don't have to have you can keep that there if you want, you don't have to. But I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, just like so. And then on top of these blocks, we're going to go one, two, three, four with stairs. In the middle of this, we're going to put a block there. And then what we're going to do is bring this one, two, three, three high, just like so. And on top of this lot here, one, two, with narrow brick fences. And now all that's left to do is if we can get rid of all this now, is to make the lanterns around the outside. We'll just do the lanterns, which when we place these slabs in earlier, we're going to go one, two, Going down like so. There we go. One, two. Here we go. One, two. Here we go. One, two. Here we go. Then a redstone lamp and a lever. Here we go. Again, whatever you do on one one corner, you got to do on all four corners. Here we go. And here we go. And now all that's left to do is just to go round and add the banners. Around the lanterns here, and again, you can texturize all these banners. There's plenty on online you can go and find. There we go, there we go, and that's all done and dusted. And get rid of these chests, there we go, get rid of all the items. But that there is the four way crossover done and dusted. If you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more like this on the channel, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm currently going to 3k subs, so hitting that subscribe button helps massively. But anyway, I will catch you guys in my next video. See ya.